Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about Sasha Calais Supergirl in the DCEU. I'm actually recording this after what you're going to hear next. And that is because whilst I was recording this and just afterwards actually when I started editing, there were some set photos that were released from London with Sasha Calais. And you can see the photo right here. Basically, there was a video that was posted, and I'm going to leave a link in the description below to it. So what they were filming was Supergirl was descending, so she'd just been flying in the air, and then she lands on the ground, and it's in a very smooth and calculated manner, meaning that she's probably landing, and she's probably going to talk to the Flash. Like, it's a friendly landing, is what I'm trying to get across. It's not like she lands, and she's going to go into, like, a massive fight or something. Also, apparently, Bruce Wayne's car was spotted on the set it's super fancy and so I presume this scene is maybe between Supergirl the Flash and also Bruce Wayne aka Michael Keaton's Batman and so this is actually filming in London and I'm planning on tomorrow because I live in London I plan on actually going to the set and hopefully I can get a look at them shooting this in real life and maybe seeing Supergirl on the set and so I will update you guys with that and if any more photos do come out sometime later today, tomorrow or something like that, we'll definitely have videos on it. So if you want to stay up to date on all of this, please be sure to subscribe. But for now, enjoy the rest of the video. We're going to go into the breakdown to do with Andy Muschietti's reveal of the Supergirl suit that he posted online just yesterday. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about the film. They just released the first look at Supergirl's costume, so we gotta break it down because I can't wait for the film and obviously we cover Supergirl on this channel, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos or DC EU videos in the future. So yeah, let's go ahead and break this down. So this is coming from Andy Muschietti, the director of the new Flash film. Obviously we got the announcement recently that Supergirl would be appearing for the first time in the DCEU in the Flash film. So that is super exciting. It is a Flashpoint film, so you're going to get lots of different iterations of characters like Michael Keaton's Batman is going to be returning. And obviously you're going to get Supergirl. There has also been talks, and I'm going to make my next video on this, but that Grant Gustin is going to be showing up in the Flash film. And obviously Grant is the Flash on the CW TV show. And that would be amazing if he shows up and, you know, I'm hoping maybe when they get round to doing a Supergirl film, we'll have Melissa Benoist showing up as Supergirl, at least in a cameo. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this and we're going to talk about some comparisons between this suit you see on the screen right here. This is the official first look at Supergirl suit in the DCEU. And we're going to compare this compared to the Man of Steel suit that Henry Cavill wears and the suit that Melissa Benoist wears on the Supergirl TV show and see kind of like where it is in terms of how similar, how different is it compared to these other suits. So as you can tell, this is pretty similar to the Man of Steel emblem. It's pretty much exactly the same, the design's the same and there is only a couple of changes and the big changes are mainly in terms of the design, like the patterning it's a little bit different. So the main difference is the colors, right? You have the blue of the suit, which is a bit darker than Melissa's Supergirl suit from the TV show. It looks like it has been like slightly edited, like in terms of like color correction. I think Andy Muschietti has put some sort of like wash of darker colors. There is like a bit of a vignette around the photo. So I don't think this is necessarily exactly as the colors are going to be. I think the middle bit is probably the closest to what it's going to be. But you can see the red at the top is really bright and then it kind of fades out into darkness at the side and that is a little bit of vignetting that he's done with some photo editing. So I don't think the red at the top is going to be that bright. But this is a big differentiation from any past Supergirl suit because if you go back and look at the comics, her chest area is always blue. Like it's always blue all around it and what is red is her cape and her emblem and her boots. So that is a huge difference and this is something that is just unique to the film version. And it's quite a bold move because you've never seen a Supergirl suit like this before, right? You've seen ones that are pretty similar like I mean, most of them are, like, in the same kind of range of, like, comic book suits and 
they kind of adapt from the comics like Melissa's Supergirl suit kind of looks like the one they have in the comics although obviously it's a lot more detailed because it's in real life and they have to make the textures look really nice and make it pop out more than just like a cosplay suit or something that has no texture and it's pretty simple so this is quite bold with the red and the blue and so yeah the blue is pretty dark at the bottom I do really like the blue and I'm interested to see like a full good look at Supergirl's suit because I really want to see what it looks like on Sasha Kale with the red bit at the top so that is obviously a big difference that we have in this suit okay so in terms of the emblem the pattern texture comparing to the Man of Steel suit is quite different and now I think the main difference here is what's going on in the middle there is like a little bit of a differentiation it's not like one consistent pattern you can see there is something slightly different and it's going through the middle kind of like snaking through it and this is very cool I think this is a cool like little design element that they've added in obviously it's not going to be super noticeable in the film because it's quite small but it does make a difference from the Man of Steel suit if you go look at the photos obviously I'm gonna like pop up a couple of them on the screen so yeah I really really like the look of the suit and I like how it's unique and it's different from Melissa's suit and the Man of Steel suit. We kind of guessed that her suit would be somewhere like in the middle between what we have on the TV show because we knew that this is obviously a big influence on them otherwise if Supergirl wasn't this popular on TV they would have never done her properly in the films because I think Supergirl has been definitely popularized by the Arrowverse and that's a great thing right? But we also knew that they would play into the kind of Man of Steel texture of the suit which you can see here however it is like stylized in a different way that is very much so unique to Supergirl and so I can't wait for this and I'm really looking forward to it and I'm really hoping to get some sort of set photos of Sasha actually in the suit like fully but right now with the Flash film they're filming a lot inside I believe they were in this big manor and I think that was supposed to be like Bruce Wayne's Flashpoint manor where it's obviously not Bruce but it's Thomas Wayne and you have like all these different versions of characters showing up and they're kind of doing the Flashpoint thing where Barry's trying to get his powers back and they do the experiment and so I'm not sure if Supergirl has actually been filming much but with Andy Muschietti posting this photo it means that she's probably around an on set and ready to start filming if not started filming already probably in some interior scenes but it must be mentioned we don't know in what capacity Supergirl is going to show up is she going to show up for like 10 minutes in the entire film or is her role going to be like an actual big role because I suppose in the Flashpoint film, normally Flashpoint, if you've read Flashpoint or you've seen the animated film, you know pretty much it is like Reverse Flash is kind of the villain. You have these different characters like an alternate version of Wonder Woman, Aquaman, they're kind of fighting it out. But then the main kind of lead characters are obviously Barry Allen, the Flash, and also Thomas Wayne. So I believe Michael Keaton is going to be playing a pretty big role and... I'm not sure if they're going to call him Thomas Wayne in the film, but that's what some people have presumed that is the role that he's playing. And so with that, I think Supergirl is a new addition that could be a hero that is going alongside the Flash for quite a lot of this film. And like I said, this is all heavily influenced by the Arrowverse because without the success of these two shows, they would have never paired up Supergirl and the Flash together. Like, they would never do that. They would pair the Flash with Superman, they would pair the Flash with Green Arrow or all these other characters, obviously Green Arrow because of the TV show as well. However, with those two being such a big success and arguably the two biggest heroes and the best pairing in the Arrowverse, that is why they are doing this film and that's why they're including Supergirl in this film. So thank you to Melissa and Grant for letting us see such great versions of these characters because now we get to see them on the big screen obviously it's not going to be them but Melissa and Grant might make cameos in this film or at least you know maybe Melissa makes a cameo in a later Supergirl film but they have influenced it in a big way which is really really cool and exciting to see so yeah overall I love this suit I really can't wait to see it like in actual full and I like how they have kind of mixed the two different costumes you know the Man of Steel suit and the Supergirl suit 
and made it their own and not copied anything directly from the comics because this looks very unique to just Sasha. You know, this is Sasha's suit after all. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really does help out if you do leave that like because it helps the video get recommended out there to people, and obviously we're going to continue making lots more Supergirl related videos as we get more and more looks into the new film that she's showing up in, obviously we're going to continue making Flash videos because we're a Flash channel as well, and when we get better looks at like Ezra Miller's new suit, Obviously, we're going to be breaking it down. But, yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. Click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.